So you want to make money in Stoneworks. Congratulations. Prepare for a world of pain. And that's up to you. What I'm here to help you with is how to make that pain less painful. And here at Bruce Corporation, mostly being Semic, I spent many, many hours developing a system to help you. It all begins here. So, join the server. You all know what you're doing. You see all those people yelling at you. What are you going to do? You're going to go down. You're going to ignore this. That shouldn't be shown anyway. You go ignore these. You're going to go down to Semic. You're going to read this. Now, if you have read the actual document with, with how the economy works, fantastic. You don't need to read this. Or, I can explain it to you here. So, effectively, how it works is you will go to Simic Item Inputs. Let's say you're a miner. You have a bunch of diamonds you want to sell. Please, please give me your diamonds. I need diamonds. Give me your diamonds. Give me them. I need them. I will buy them for a good cost. You can do put this little copy, Control C, paste down as you hear, fill it out. Nation ID, you know, what's. What's, what's, what's the nation you're in? Are you in Aristios? Are you in Ashai? Are you in the Zamets Union? Really don't care. Uh, regardless, it's just for uh, paper tracking. You're then going to put in the item ID. Now this, a lot of people are going to be thinking, okay, if it's just normal diamonds, you can put diamonds. It's actually going to be Minecraft underscore diamond. That is the actual Minecraft ID for it. Below that, you can put the quantity. Now, uh, this is like purely by unit. So if you have two stacks, you're not going to say two stacks. You're going to say 128 units. Because it just it makes it a lot easier for me. SMC. SMC is sort of a, is a bond. Uh, Semic. I, Semic backs all of these with hard somewhere's currency and oftentimes they appreciate in value. And we use this to allow nations to borrow money to use for wars or to fund construction, whatever. You can speak with me, Sonia Lustovania, or whoever this person is when you're ever seeing it, for more information on that. The cost per units is where things get a little interesting. So you can put in an offering. Like let's say you're trying to sell gold. Let's say it's, or no, diamonds. I think the market price is around 45 per unit right now. So you put 45 per unit, or let's say no, let's say you go for 47 per unit because you want to make a little bit of extra money, not that big of a deal. Because I know the market price, I may say, I'm only going to buy these for 45 per. And you can either choose to negotiate with me, or you can just take that deal, or you can just not sell them to me. Ultimately, it doesn't matter to me either way, I make money regardless. But ultimately, a good business has to buy low and sell high. Speaking of selling high, actually, yeah, um, if it's approved, green check marks are going to be placed, which is going to look something like that. That's when you'll that's when you'll know that it's been approved. I will then DM you, or otherwise get into contact with you to pick up the items and issue you issue you your money. Now, speaking of selling high, if you want to, to buy items, you see up here I have a a a uh, spreadsheet listed. This is where all of the inventory that from items have been put in from the inputs are going to go. You can then do is you can look in there, and I will bring it up for you. It's going to look like this. It's going to have lots of stuff all the way through here. What you can then see is what's being sold, the quantity, the cost of being at the supplier, nation ID. This part is just for me, so I know who I'm paying. Because I have a lot of deals I gotta keep up with with this. But this is gonna tell you what's being sold and for how much. We're gonna take the information, plug it into this here, and then we're gonna put that in the same way as you did before. The input, we're gonna throw it on here. Check mark will be placed, and either one of my people will get into contact with you to give you the items. So, um, handling your SMC. SMC is Standard Market Accreditations, or Accreditations. However you want to say it, you can say however. Generally, SMC is the accepted term. Market Accreditations, that also works. But with the member nations, and that's going to be in a separate, in the fifth channel, 
those are going to be nations which are actively accepting SMC as a form of currency. And that's where you're going to find those. I recommend that that if you want to get the most out of your SMC, try to be a citizen. Always be in, be involved in one of those nations that are accepting it. Because otherwise, bonds can be a little bit difficult to get rid of. Now, a lot of my people are planning on implementing programs to help you get rid of those as a appreciating value, get you your money back, so you can get back into involved involved the economy. But in case you're really trying to get rid of them, uh, the member nations use them for taxes. You can use government shops. You can get access to farms and other programs with them. Basically, acting as a centralized currency. Think of the think of the euro from the from the European Union. It's basically what SMC is. With that, that's all I have for you. Peace and good luck.